Things are a little calmer right now than they were in the last 24 hours. Looking at our sleep tight weather cam, a bit hazy out there, kind of overcast. But Mike, uh, we're, we're out of the woods, so to speak, from last night. Oh, indeed. You know, it was definitely a little rocky out there. We had some mm -hmm. damaging wind gusts come through parts of the area. I know our friends out there in Edina and La Plata and on over east towards Lewistown, Missouri, mm -hmm. they had some power outages, some trees down in some of those areas. And then further east, same story. Tonight's quiet. Right. We're looking at partly cloudy skies eventually overnight with less humid air and drier air coming into the region. So we saw 3.11 inches of rain here in Quincy, officially at the airport. It. Yeah. It was coming down good. Did you see it last night? Were you out I driving did. around in it? I did. Unfortunately, yeah, I left work right at the time it was coming down. But I have to say, Mike, fantastic job by the Seven Storm team last night keeping people informed, keeping them safe. Folks Thank at you. home, if you didn't have a chance to check out the live stream on our website, that's kind of a cool way to stay up to date on the weather right there, right that, then and there. In real time. Yeah. And folks can ask questions on other social media, Facebook and Twitter. Mm -hmm. Ask us directly and we can get back to you with information right away. So it's a nice tool to keep uh, up to date in severe weather sure. coverage. And we'd like to have you join us. Uh, anytime we have severe weather, we'll put that live stream up once again on our KHQA.com homepage. So once again, it is dry tonight, but we saw lots of rain. So let's take a look at what's going on out there. And we we have plenty of flood warnings. Uh, minor flooding occurring on a lot of area rivers and tributaries, uh, low lying areas, looking at some, uh, some flooding underway in spots, uh, from what I understand. So, uh, you know, use caution out there. But uh, we were very dry before this uh, system came through yesterday and last night. In Quincy, we were roughly five inches below for where we are normally supposed to be. Uh, this time of year as far as the precip goes. So we picked up over three inches here in Quincy. A lot of the area picking up between two to four inches of rainfall. Even more than that reported in some spots officially or unofficially, I should say. So it was a wet one, but now cooler air is already trying to build down from the northeast at 70 in Macomb, 72 in Fort Madison, 77 in Hannibal with 78 degrees over in Pittsfield. Here in Quincy at 74 degrees tomorrow. Here you go. Look at this. It's going to be less humid, partly sunny, dry and cooler. Highs only in the 70s across the tri-states for tomorrow. We hit 80 degrees here in Quincy today. We have cloudy skies right now, 74 currently at the airport. The winds, they're picking up by the northeast at 17 miles an hour. We are quiet here in the tri-states. You can see on the radar, nothing doing. Quincy and back on off to the north and east, it's quiet. But down to the south, St. Louis, south and east, they have a tornado watch in effect for uh, much of southeastern Missouri and southern Illinois. You can see the reds here indicating the intense thunderstorms developing down that way. This is all shifting away from our area, not going to impact the tri-states whatsoever. Temperatures are going to be cooler. That will be impacting us. As you can look up to the northeast in northern sections of Illinois, it's in the middle to upper 60s right now. That is cooler air that's going to be ushered into our region on some east winds over the next 24 hours as high pressure settles across the northern part of the country. It's going to bring us a nice weather pattern as we head through tonight. Temperatures fall back to around 59 here in Quincy. Tomorrow, less humidity. Dew, point, dew points fall back into the 50s. Temperatures only warm into the middle 70s. So look forward to that. A nice day of weather tomorrow. 59 for a low tonight. Partly cloudy skies out there. Winds out of the northeast. 5 to 15 miles an hour. For tomorrow, it is going to be a beauty. Partly sunny sky, 75 for a high. Great early June weather. Winds out of the east, 5 to 15 miles an hour. The extended view shows several more chances of rain showers and thunderstorms, so we will have a chance to gain some more precip here in the tri-states over the next seven days. Looks like the best chance on Saturday there with highs around 77 degrees and uh, a good, uh, good coverage of showers and storms there. By the time we roll into Monday and Tuesday, temperatures still hovering around very seasonable levels. Highs in the 70s, lows near 60 degrees. So it was a long night last night. It was. Fortunately, we didn't see uh, as much uh, you know, damaging uh, wind destruction as sure. possibly it was thought of early at this time yesterday mm -hmm. uh, that was coming our way. But fortunately, everyone's in pretty good shape. We have some minor flooding and a little bit of uh, trees down and some power outages we had last night. But I think hopefully most people have their power back. Right. Thanks, Mike. Mm -hmm.